The vast majority of people, after spending a large sum of money, in some instances, we're talking well into the thousands of dollars, $1,800 for a smartphone, the first thing they're probably going to want to do is to put a protective case onto that device, protect their investment. And that is absolutely, totally a reasonable and advisable thing to do. However, I have never liked cases for several different reasons. The biggest one is just that I think that for the most part, they're kind of a little bit ugly. And I think that a lot of phones look really quite nice. And I don't want to cover up the niceness of the phone, the design that these engineers work so hard on, with a case that probably doesn't look as good. A lot of these phones have really beautiful colors. I'm talking to you, S23 Ultra, and it pains me in some ways to put a case on that device, even though I wind up doing it with some of these larger devices because they're just so doggone slippery. It's just hard for me to hold on to them, and I am quite afraid I'm going to drop them. For years, when phones were a little bit smaller, definitely was rocking no case because I felt more confident holding on to the things. Another big reason is because phones are so big that adding additional bulk to them just kind of sucks for me. I don't have particularly large hands, and so these phones are already massive, and we're making them even more massive by putting these giant cases, these giant contraptions onto these devices and one device that I have tried like 87 different cases on and found a couple that I really like is the Galaxy Z Fold 4 which you saw in my hand in the earlier part of this video you can see it here again I've tried many different cases for this device I used that anime case that wood uh, wooden backed anime case for probably the longest time and really did enjoy that almost specifically because of the appearance. I just loved the way that it looked and it was adding some protection as well, which is all obviously a good thing. And it wasn't adding a ton of bulk, although it was adding some. But that being said, the Z Fold 4, I feel like is a really nice looking device. And you can see where this video is going right now, if you're paying attention. Uh, I like the way that this thing looks, and I really wanted to use it with no case, but it's hard to hold on to, right? And I also like the ability to kind of have the thing tilted up a little bit. Not Maybe not you know, a full kickstand type deal, because the pop socket that's on it now is not going to be able to do a full kickstand with it unless you position it maybe slightly differently. But at least to be able to have it tilted up a bit is what I at least need that at minimum. So I decided I was going to do an experiment. I was going to take the case off, and I was going to buy, for the first time in my life, a pop socket and see how I felt about it. Now, the first thing that I had to determine was whether or not a pop socket would even attach to this thing. You can tell by looking at this, the way that the glare maybe does or does not look, that it kind of has like a frosted texture to the back. And another little adhesive uh, kickstand type thing I had did not want to stick to this. So I was skeptical that the pop socket would... However, I'm happy to report to you that it has adhered very, very well. No problems with that at all. I actually Googled this and there was no obvious consensus online. People were saying maybe put a skin on it and then the pop socket. Well, the pop socket attaches just fine by itself. So once this was done, I was left with a device that was, you know, quite a bit thinner than it was even with a case on. Obviously, you do have this thing sticking out, but in general, it's much thinner than it is with the case, which makes it feel much thinner and much lighter even in your pocket, which is exactly what I was looking for. In addition, you're just being able to see this lovely color and to be able to see the design even better. And of course, with that pop socket on, using it in phone mode has been even easier. It's easier for me to just adjust my grip and actually reach to the top of the screen, which is something that otherwise I'm just not really going to be able to do. So it's a definite win in phone mode. What about in tablet mode? Well, here's a cool thing. A lot of people have complained that it's actually really hard to open. The magnets are very strong and it's kind of slippery. Well, with the pop socket on, you have something you can kind of brace against. So not only has it made opening the device more comfortable and easier to do, of course, you can one hand the thing like this, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, I mentioned that you can't really use this as a proper kickstand, and you'll see what I mean like this. It just tips over. But what I have been doing is sort of just setting it up like that. So it is tilted towards me a little bit, and I think that that's okay. I do wish it could fully stand up, but even being able to do that is a bit of a win for me.
Obviously, if you're looking for the best way to protect this device, this is not going to be that. If you're looking for the best way to keep your S Pen with you, this is not going to be that. But if you're pondering the idea of using this thing caseless, I think this is probably the closest I'm ever going to be able to go to truly using this thing in a caseless manner and still having it be a fun to use device. With no case, no accessories, I find phone mode to simply be unwieldy and I find the tablet to be hard to open and also a bit hard to wield as well. This has made caselessness much, much easier for me. So if you were wondering if the pop socket would adhere to the back of the Z Fold 4, it does. If you're wondering how well it works ergonomically, I would say that it works quite well. Well enough that for the foreseeable future, I'm probably going to continue using this thing with no actual protection. You may think that I am crazy. I spent a lot of money on this device, but I think with this thing on there, I'm pretty unlikely to actually drop this thing. I don't really drop my phones. I think it's been, at this point, since my since I've dropped a phone and had a serious problem after dropping a phone, like a height that warranted damage, I believe was my original Surface Duo, which has been like almost two years ago now when I dropped that thing, like a year and a half or something like that. And that was a very odd, rare occurrence too. I don't really drop my phone. So if you're like me, this might make some sense to you. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you're using to accessorize with your Galaxy Z Fold device. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.